The logistics of supplying food to our state is an immense task, but nowhere more so than the Torres Strait Islands, where virtually everything comes in by ship. Fresh produce, petrol, even cars, and the odd passenger or two. Sea Swift's MV Trinity Bay is the lifeblood of the Torres Strait. Each week, the 81-metre vessel makes the trek north from Cairns, fully laden with supplies and 38 lucky tourists. See you, Cairns. Next stop, the Torres Strait. 2023. Let's start by saying this is no luxury cruise liner, so don't expect a lap pool on each level, nightly shows or room service. But if you're happy to forgo all the bells and whistles, what you'll get in return is a unique insight into life on a cargo ship. Hi, Captain. Hello, sir. How are you? Wow. It's like the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, mate. It's pretty good, eh? Skipper Will Wust is just one of many crew members well versed in answering questions from inquisitive tourists. What are we carrying? Tell, tell us what we're taking up to the, the tippy tip. Well, we, we carry general cargo up to the Torres Strait, so we take anything from caravans, houses, <laughs> foods, trucks. We take a circus up to, to Thursday Island at the time. <laughs> yeah, so we have the merry go rounds and all those things up. Anything and everything that has to go up there, we take up there. We're travelling along Queensland's Boat Highway, tucked just inside the Great Barrier Reef. It provides protection from the elements, but requires careful skill to navigate. It must give you a, a lot of sort of respect for those, those early sailors uh, and uh, navigators who came through these waters. I mean, how did they do it? Absolutely. Well, those boys used to have a, a, somebody standing on the front, on the bow of the vessel, with a lead line, you know, and you, one guy a piece of lead on a string and you drop it down and say, yep, this is how deep we are. And by the reef they come to a stop and they say, alright, let's go back, try again. Sea Swift never advertises its cruises, it relies solely on word of mouth and it's clearly working, for there's never a spare bunk on the ship. So how did you ladies end up, end up here in the Trinity Bay? Friends of ours told us about this wonderful holiday and it sounded so different and relaxing and casual. So we booked. Friends were amazed we were coming on a cargo ship. So we did it. Friends Elaine Drummond and Gail Cullaham are looking forward to visiting the tip of Australia to fulfil a lifelong dream. For an old girl, it's fantastic. Gail and Elaine? I'd recommend it to anybody. Full oh, house, look queen at and oh, oh. I only had three of them. It's a lazy 38 hours to our first stop. I mean, I've spent much of the time just gazing out, looking at land, at islands, at coral caves that have remained pristine and untouched by the modern world. I mean, it's such a contrast to today's travel, rushing here and rushing there. It's a wonderful thing to experience. The rooms are comfortable, air-conditioned, and some even have en-suites. The dining room is the social hub of the boat. Passengers enjoy the same food as the crew members, so it's substantial, to say the least. Much like the food, the entertainment is on a self-serve basis. OK, we've got a choice of two movies, OK? Do you want to watch this one? Or do you want to watch this one? No! Oh. Yeah, we know how that one ends. Not a good idea. While we can relax, the team in the Trinity Bay works right through the night. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, Nicky, where are we going to be? At 5 o'clock, we'll be at Torres Straits and uh, heading into Horn Island. I expect a good sunrise, OK? All right, no worries. <laughs> I'll give you a good sunrise. When you wake up, you'll be, we'll be approaching the Horn Island Wharf with a beautiful sunrise. <laughs> yeah. The round trip departs Cairns on Friday and calls into Horn Island, Thursday Island and Bamaga before returning to Cairns on Wednesday. Fares start at $775 for quad share or choose to take your car along for the ride and drive south from the tip. <laughs>